Hello guys, today I am going to show you how to make a quiz competition circuit for 4 players. So let's get started. Let's see its circuit diagram. Here is 2 IC, it is 4013. We need 2 of them, it is IC A, IC B. Another 2 IC, 7408, and this one also 7408. Here is 7408 A, 7408 B. For 4 players, we need 4 inputs, that means 4 switches. Here is 1, it is push to 1, and in this point we will apply 6 volt, and it is pin number 1. And after the switch, we have to add 1 pull down resistor and its value is 1 kilo ohms and it should connect it to ground add 3 more and the pin numbers are here is 4, here is 9, 12 now connect pin number 2, 5, 10 and 13 all together and it goes to this IC here is pin number 8 ok in this IC pin number 3 and 4 both are connected together and pin number 6 and 10 both are connected together and we need one reset switch for organizer so this switch is connected here pin number 4 and 10 all are connected and this is connected to plus 6 volt and here also we have to add one pull down resistor and it is connected to ground the value is 1 kilo ohms ok this one is reset switch now see here its pin number 1 is connected to its pin number 12 and its pin number 2 is connected to pin number 2 ok its pin number 5 is connected to its pin number 12 and its pin number 9 is connected to pin number 2 now for this IC, we have to connect two more connections from this IC. Its pin number 3 goes to pin number 6 of IC 4013A and its pin number 6 is connected to pin number 8 of this IC. Similarly, we have to connect two more connections from this IC. So its pin number 11 is connected to its pin number 8 and its pin number 8 is connected to its pin number 6 ok and one clarification is all this IC pin number 7 is connected to ground here I am writing pin number 7 is connected to ground and pin number 14 is connected to plus 6 volt ok for all the ICs the first output is pin number 1 and one LED is connected throw a resistor ok and it is connected to ground the value is 220 ohms pin number 13 its value also 220 ohms now see the third output how is pin number 1 and the last output from the pin number 13 and all these values are 220 ohms ok so this is the complete circuit diagram now let's see this on the breadboard here is 7408A 7408B 4013A and it is 4013B now I am numbering this IC this one first IC second IC third IC and fourth ok this one this IC is first IC this one the second IC it is third IC and it is the fourth IC ok pin number 7 goes to ground and pin number 14 is connected to 6 volt ok and it is for all of them now connect both the negative rail and both the positive rail ok now connect pin number 2 of first IC to pin number 5 of first IC then this pin is connected to pin number 10 and again this pin 
is connected to pin number 13 and these all are connected to pin number 8 of second IC pin number 3 and 4 are connected together and also the pin number 6 and 10 okay this is for second IC its pin number 6 is connected to pin number 8 of third IC and pin number 3 is connected to pin number 6 of the third IC pin number 11 is connected to pin number 8 of fourth IC also the pin number 8 of this IC is connected to pin number 6 of the fourth IC pin number 1 of second IC is connected to pin number 12 of third IC and pin number 2 of second IC is connected to pin number 2 of third IC pin number 5 of second IC is connected to pin number 12 of fourth IC and pin number 9 of second IC is connected to pin number 2 of fourth IC now connect pin number 10 and pin number 4 together of the third IC and also the fourth IC pin number 4 and 10 both are connected together and we have to connect this both connection so entire IC connection is completed now connect the inputs and output for this we need another breadboard now put all the switch this is for player 1 for player 2 for player 3 it is for fourth player and then we need a reset switch this is for organizer ok according to the circuit diagram we need to connect one pin of the switch together and this connected to plus VCC we are connecting here plus 6 volt now connect all the output LEDs this is for player 1 it is for player 2 player 3 player 4 and with this we have to connect 220 ohm resistors ok connected now see one thing here one kilo ohm resistor is connected with pin number one this is connected to pin number four and so on and also this resistor is connected to with this pin ok now connect one kilo ohm resistor with pin number one and this resistor is connected to ground with pin number four with pin number 12 and with the pin number 9 and here also we have to connect 1 kilo ohm resistor I am connecting it to here pin number 4 of fourth IC now we can connect all the switch so this switch is for first player and here I am connecting it with pin number 1 this goes to pin number 4 third player will go to pin number 9 and the fourth player is connected to pin number 12 ok and the reset pin is connected to pin number 4 of fourth IC now connect all the LEDs the first LED is connected to pin number 1 of third IC second LED is connected to pin number 13 of third IC third LED is connected to pin number 1 of fourth IC and the last one fourth LED is connected to pin number 13 of fourth IC ok connect the negative rail to this negative rail so all the connections are completed now connect the power supply positive is connected here and here the negative now press any of the switch let's say this one the organizer will reset it ok let's say two player are pressing at the same time but this switch is pressed first so so this LED is glowing ok this one again this reset so like this ok I'm pressing all four together see so this switch I pressed first so this LED is glowing see this switch is pressed first so this LED is glowing now see one thing here let's say this player pressed the switch now even if the other player also trying to press but these LEDs are not activated ok because this player already pressed now 
organizer have to reset it then let's say this time this player pressed see the other switch are not working okay so like this you can make quiz competition circuit for four players now if you want to add a buzzer then you have to do some modification on this circuit this is the circuit we have and here you have to add one diode to all the outputs it can be any normal diode 1 and 4007 okay here one diode here also one diode now what you have to do is you have to connect all these four points because there is no place so I'm indicating these points like this okay these are all connected okay the cathode pin and from this point you have to so this point is here okay this this is the point here I am drawing and with this you have to connect one 10 kilo ohm resistor the value is 10 kilo ohm and then one transistor this is the base of the transistor you have to connect one NPN transistor any NPN transistor and the emitter is connected to ground and with the collector we have to connect the buzzer it may be like this and the another end of the buzzer is connected to plus 6 volt okay so this is the little modification you have to do now I'll show you how to do this on the breadboard now see here carefully the anode pin I have connected here and another diode I am going to connect here both the cathode pin are connected together in the same column here another diode is connected and this is the last one ok four diodes are connected now with the common connection you have to connect one 10 kilo ohm resistor and then put here one transistor ok connect its emitter to the ground and this is our buzzer the positive end is connected to positive rail and the negative pin of the buzzer is connected to the collector of the transistor buzzer is connected now connect all the diodes you can connect all the diodes to these resistors because these are connected to the IC ok diode connection is completed now connect the power supply here is our negative and here is our positive ok now press any of this see okay the buzzer is working nicely so guys this is all for today i hope you like this video if so then please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this then please let me know in the comment section in the next video i'll show you another topic till then stay happy and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching